Hello, and welcome to the Open Textbook Network's Data Dashboard. In this second video, I'm going to show you how to add registrants, edit workshop information, and close registration for an upcoming workshop. Now, here we are again in your institutional dashboard. In the first video, we set up an Open Textbook Workshop with all of the necessary details like date, location, time, and description. It's listed here, I called it Superstar Workshop, in the upcoming section. Hey, look, four people have registered using our registration page, so that's exciting. Now, notice the three purple buttons and one orange button that are associated with your workshop. Now, starting from the left, the first button with a little person is to add registrants. The second button with a little pencil is to edit the workshop information. The third button with the little clipboard that we used in our first video is to copy the URL of our registration page. And finally, this fourth button with a little door is to close registration for the upcoming workshop. Now, what we want to do right now is see who's registered and add a few registrants. So I'm going to click on this button with the little person that says registrants. Great. Here in the second half of the page, I can see these are the four people who signed up using the registration page. And then up here in this text box, I can add registrants. Now, there's two ways to do this. The first, I can simply type in the details. So in this case, I happened to run into this guy in the hallway, told him about the workshop, and he said, sign me up. I said, will do. So I've entered his details. I'm going to click on this button with a little person that says create registrations. And there he is added to our officially registered list. Now, there's a second way that I could add registrants to this workshop. And that is, let's say you used Google Forms for registering attendees. I'm going to click over to the spreadsheet that Google Forms created for me. I'm going to copy the email, first name, last name information. And then I'm going to click back to this registrants page, paste it into the text box. And I'm going to click again on this green Create Registrations button. And there we go. We have added four new registrants to our workshop for a grand total of eight who are planning to attend. And that's what I wanted to do here on this registrants page. So now I'm going to click this little gray button in the bottom left that says Back. And I'm going to go back to our institutional dashboard. So, great, we can see the eight registrants. Now I'm going to click on this little purple button with the pencil. This is so that I can edit the information regarding my workshop. Now I noticed I didn't include the zip last time. So let me put in the zip. And you know what, I want people to be excited, so I'm gonna add an exclamation point to this description. Everything else looks good. I don't want to change any other details here. So I'm just going to click this purple button, go ahead and update my workshop. And this message at the top of the screen, which is highlighted in green, tells me the workshop has been successfully updated. So great. We are back on our institutional dashboard page. Now, as we did in the first video, I could click on this third button with the clipboard and copy the URL of my registration page and use it to invite people to register for the workshop. Now, let's take a closer look at this last button. That's the one that's orange that says close registration and includes a little door. As soon as I click on this button, I'm going to close registration for the workshop. That means no more faculty can sign up. Close. Okay, closed. Now, let's say I have a change of heart. And you'll see that the button changed to reopen registration and is now in green. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the same button again. And I've reopened my workshop registration. If you have any doubt, you can look at the top of the screen here. And there's a message telling me workshop registration reopened. Super. 
So now you've set up an upcoming workshop, you've added registrants, you've edited workshop information, and closed and reopened registration. In the next video, we'll talk about what you can do with the dashboard after your workshop has been held.